How does wave contribute to coastal erosion and deposition? Wave formation is a result of various forces acting on the water body, like gravitational forces and geologic hazards, but wind is seen to be the major force driving ocean across the globe. So when the wind blows over the ocean surface, it creates wave. Ocean wave moves through up and down, hence there's interaction between the wave and the seabed, this is how waves collect sediments. This circular motion of wave mobilize sediments by dragging them up into the water column away from the seabed, and stay suspended under the wave, and will only settles back down if this movement slows down or stops. Ocean wave being the energy traveling through water accompanied with the sediments it has collected, gives them the power to erode shore. These rocks and sediments are crashing against each other as they are being transported in a circular motion. As they reach the coast and hits the cliff, the water carrying rock fragments forces into the cracks and cause the rocks to break apart, and gradually wear them down. The scale of erosion and deposition is influenced by the size and energy of the wave. The three main factors determining the size of waves includes the speed of the wind, the length of time the wind blows, and the distance the wind blows. The faster, longer, and farther the wind blows, the larger the waves are. Large waves occur only when all these three factors combine. The larger the waves are and the more sediment they carry, the more erosion they cause. But on how it changes the coastal landform depends upon the type of wave that struck. If it causes the beach to increase in size, then that type of wave is constructive, since the swash is stronger than the backwash, therefore, more sediments carried by wave will be left behind on the coast. But if it causes the beach to reduce in size, then it's a destructive type of wave, characterized as having a stronger backwash than the swash, this process pulls away materials from the coast into the sea.